Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about or play games that today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and brought Miss D. Vasquez up to the stand. And at this point, we're pretty sure that she's the killer. I mean, she had a very clear way of doing it. And now we just have to prove it. Edgeworth jumped in for a second and had Miss D. Vasquez, I don't know why I'm using her full name, had Miss Vasquez testify about what she saw after the body had been discovered and that's what we're about to see right now so without further ado let's get right into this after finding the body i was with sal and old bag the security lady and when we found the body the assistant was there too only powers was absent i immediately called the police then powers showed up the security lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick. We're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now. But if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. Cross-examination. This will probably be the final cross-examination of the case. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 o'clock for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manello arrive at the studio? About ten minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Press harder. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer into the costume with Sal Manello's help. Oh. What did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what people are saying, boy. But boy Witness will continue with her testimony. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm? You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Ugh. Wait a second, wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm. I have to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers, I was just thinking the same thing. Hmm. Well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez. You may continue. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. What was everyone else doing at the time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. Silent. Hey, hey Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. This is a murder case, Maya. The security lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at power saying he did it. Old bag. The security lady. Why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Right, the steel samurai. Did the detective arrest Mr. Powers based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. 
She seems to have also given that detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all, all this after the fact. That photograph, meaning the one taken by the security camera. She's not known for exhibiting the best judgment when it comes to Hammer. Hmm, I don't think there's anything in there I can use. I ask to be left out of the proceedings. You ask to be left out? Yes, it seems that everyone else was questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you. Or covered it up for you. There must have been a lot writing on it, with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. The script in your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please continue. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Order, order, Mr. Edgeworth. What you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it quite hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in coverage with the defense? What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to be believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. You knew that Hammer was injured. Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Wh what? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I, I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right, you must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manel was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez! Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Hammer. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. And he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah, and when was he doing this? Well, it would have to be after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. I went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning.
Order, order. I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? Mm. <laughs> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Urgh. Why are the real killers always so... persistent? Why in the world would I want Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? Is there a reason? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive for this murder. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, this case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Bringing us to the present day, in Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the ex-star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... as if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, and not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs, in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor, Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had ta so cruelly taken advantage of him the all those years. So, you did it, didn't you? Yes, I am guilty. It was me.
Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Mr. Redworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor, as calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Bill Powers was innocent, but he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not guilty. Hooray! That is all. The court is adjourned. October 20th, 1.12 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Uh, I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but... it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for murder. It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Uh-huh. Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Be because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show, and is the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. Uh, I think I understand. He could have just told me. I, I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. Uh, I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Hmm? Is something wrong? N no, of course not. Ah! N Nick! Edgeworth! Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. <laughs> ah, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Right. I must say I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you I am saddled with unnecessary... feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright? Is this guy your friend? What? Friends as if? They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? For now we are. I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick, tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closes on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. It went back to making kid shows again. Nick, this is it. The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy the trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. 
Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real world powers. <laughs>